well hello everyone again welcome in my youtube channel today topic is somewhat different that is actually based on basic way of involving yourself in research i am going to make a video on how to do thesis project or term paper or research type of thing which were actually based on density functional theory approach that is dft approach here i am giving a perfect selection of any material how to select a material and uh, how to design that material using Vista or GDIS computer programs and how to optimize all those materials and how to do this convergence test too and finally how to study or find out electronic and mechanical and optical properties of the, um, those design materials and finally I also include how to write how to explain all those properties and result in your thesis or in your project please this video is somewhat too long i think maybe it will take an hour but don't worry i will try to sort out all these within a perfect time and this video is so informative to those who really want to do their work in more beautiful way and they will get the basic concept of doing research too and the last and last thing is don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel please do support all the researcher okay um uh, I'm, i want to move on now before starting your project first uh, you must have to know in which material you really want to do your th uh, you know research or thesis design that material first and then do the literature review the literature review is very important before you know uh, starting your research or thesis or any term paper uh, literature review is very important in which material you really want to do and which one is the recent discovery and in which material the researchers are mainly focused on for design that then you will move for the next one that is design part here i am doing by including 2d mos2 monolayer which were already done experimentally or so many computational work was already done by so many scholar too there are so many materials still on their research for different applications so first things is to confirm in which material you really want to do your thesis term paper research work decide that first here i started by designing mos2 monolayer first then i will show you how to do all the convergence tests and find all properties okay there are so many method uh, you know to design the materials 2d materials but uh, the simplest way to go to the material project site here is the material project site uh, and uh, this material project dot org you can sign in by using your google or gmail id and then if your monolayer is already registered here in you know include in this uh, website then you can easily download i'm doing here for mos2 so i want to search for mos2 monolayer or bulk or whatever you need the coordinate of that component that you know that component mos2 yes and there is two okay i want to search it do the search and i actually need this hexagonal of mos2 and that's why i want to click in this and okay just wait my wi-fi is not that much good maybe that's the reason okay now it takes some time and okay here we go and now go to this uh, export as whether you can download uh, as a cif or you know in mass format you can i actually <coughs> download export as cif permit so that's why click in this cif permit okay um i already download this i want to go to the folder name where yeah here is the download way and uh, my laptop is not that much good and that's why a lot of files are already in my laptop that's why it takes time to open that one and okay i want to click this Control x i want to make one folder i already made a folder in here works up for ms2 monolayer i want to save here design okay dsign the first round is design that's why i want to make it design i already did all the calculations for ms2 monolayer but i want to do it again for my youtube and paste here okay after you know download the cif of ms2 and visualize it by using uh, 
Vista Vista software actually um, I use the Vista software to design the material so many people design the you know this material 2d material 3d material 1 or 0 dimension material by using so many software but uh, Vista is uh, uh, is good uh, this one is you know easily available in, you can in, in Vista site you can easily download and uh, you know install in your laptop and uh, you can design I want to show you VESTA Vista and I want to open the MOS2 mono layer okay control and enter this and here we can here you can see that I want to I want to design that's why mm, I don't need this wait I don't need this off part that's why I want to cut the this you know reflection of this uh, atom I want to delete okay again I want to you know cut to the atoms outside of this uh, you know unit seal cut these atoms and again cut these atom too and this one is actually the learning process that's why I do it for your MOS2 monolayer too and then I will show you so many method to design the monolayer and how to design that monolayer and how to calculate all this uh, this one is you know actually for you know learning basic learning way that's why you can you can also do as I do here in uh, in my you know calculations for MOS2 you can also do for MOS2 and here MOS2 here is uh, one MO atom and two S atom now I want to shape this and go to the um, this file and uh, I think I'm go to the export data and you can save in either in two form one is in XYZ form and no do you know and another again export data in bus format where is that bus okay this one okay save this in Cartesian always make Cartesian coordinate and then okay I don't want to just cancel out and now I want to show you mm, this uh, open the file of the fast format actually in this uh, dot fast file you can see there are two mo atom and four s atom but we actually uh, design the mos2 monolayer containing one mo atom and two s atom that's why you can open the file of uh, this xyz you can see the three uh, coordinate of the three atom one is mo and uh, uh, that uh, two is for s atom so um, copy this and try to paste here in the cartesian coordinate side control b and try to delete this and this two and oh sorry and this two and there are one mo atom and two s atom and try to save this and now again open the terminal and then try to um, open the this c cube uh, bus format try to open this again and again do the same thing and try to cut the atom of you know that were actually that are actually outside of this unit cell and i want to okay sorry cut this again and now I want to show you show you this three atoms and try to you know export the data in you know CIF permit and CIF try to write here monolayer L E Y E R monolayer actually um, I did uh, the calculation by using Sista software so Sista need uh, uh, the input uh, in FDA format so try to make this design monolayer in uh, in FDF input for sister make input which I actually use GDIS to make this GDIS is also the software which uh, which help us to you know change directly the uh, the coordinate uh, the, the design coordinate into you know FDF format input for a sister you directly make I want to show you 
and this is the most beautiful way of you know converting your design coordinates into input to make the input for yes night sister and i want to show you yeah you can see the beautiful one MOA and two SNM and try to export not export and try to save this and right here dot fdf and it directly sends you that cif into input for sister that is fdf this one is the you can see the beautiful representation of her but you must have to change here uh, this s and try to make it mo and there are number of species is only two one is uh, mo atom and the second one is yes that's why i try to make it two there are three atom so i have to two one is for mo i think that's two two means uh, this is uh, sulfur for sulfur and you can also change this mo as two mono layer you can write in this way too Well, after the successful design of the materials and you know, save that materials in your your format by using GDIS, what you have to do is like what our next step is to do conversion stage. For that, uh, what we need is a pseudo potential file in PSF format of each element that were actually used in our materials. Uh, we have here MOS2, uh, uh, that design materials is MOS2, so we need a PSF file for MO and yes. Here, our all calculations, uh, you know, from uh, conversion state, state structural properties, electronic properties will be done by using uh, Siesta uh, software, uh, computer program, which is actually a DFT based uh, uh, computer program. So what we need for Siesta input is like uh, FDF file of design material, uh, which is all, we already have uh, that FDF and PSF file also. So for PSF file, uh, we uh, go to this, you know, this uh, virtual pseudo potential uh, file site and uh, click here and go to this uh, you know this periodic table and uh, our design materials is uh, mos2 and that's why we need uh, the psf file of uh, uh, mo uh, and s also here click that mo and then you can see here is also siesta here is also siesta but uh, uh, for our calculations um, we actually i actually choose ggpv uh, for my calculations for um, more approximation you know accurate result uh, this one is a local density approximation and this one is generalized gradient approximation so if you want to use uh, you know if you are trying to you know do your uh, thesis or uh, project uh, using this LDA function you can also use this one approximation but uh, for, um, I recommend that uh, you know GDAPV is the best uh, you know way to you know get the uh, accurate result that's why i want to choose the psf for this pseudo potential file of ggpv mm, uh, for ggpv uh, this one here is siesta if you uh, guys are using quantum expresso uh, then you can uh, here is also the uh, input uh, pseudo potential file for quantum expresso too but i want to download here click here and you can select all for selector ctrl a and ctrl c copy all this and go to the your folder right click open the terminal and then what do you have to type it and uh, delete and this one is for mo uh, the file name is psf dot psf so enter and paste over here control p and save it now you can see here the beautiful psf file for mo and the, the next uh, one is uh, for mo uh, mo is already you know downloaded but um, now we need for s so we click here uh, in the same way for yes also ggfv so click here and control all and copy this and you can open the terminal over here and again the same way repeat the same way yes this is for spsf format actually the sister need um, the pseudo potential file um, uh, in psf format that's why dot psf control p and save save it now you can see the beautiful you know um, um, all the input for siesta that is actually uh, psf and fdf now before now our uh, uh, we move on towards you know convergence test then structural property and then you know electronic property now make a new folder for convergence test B.
test okay better to name without giving the space okay convergence only okay inside the convergence so what uh, we have to do is we uh, check the convert we do the convergence step, uh, test for lattice constant first and then one folder for lattice constant and then for key point and next one is for miss cutoff yeah simply create a you know <laughs> folder name uh, for the convergence stage in some calculation you know uh, if you you guys are you know doing a research type of things uh, instead of doing you know thesis or project work uh, you guys uh, do the convergence test for a vacuum also here i uh, only do for key point uh, let it constant and mess cut off and i will show the uh, same things you know you can repeat on vacuum test also so uh, to do the convergence test we need these three uh, input uh, for each conversion stage that is mo uh, this uh, fdf and s control c control v okay uh, before starting your conversion test i want to show you some change parameter over here i uh, i already did all the cal calculation for conversion test uh, uh, that's why i already copied all the you know parameter over here you can you know uh, copy these parameter in every section if you are doing for other you know other 2d materials or uh, other you know other material 3d or 4d material whatever you are doing one dimension materials you can you know copy these parameter and include this parameter in your you know format after designing the materials these were the information that were actually uh, we already you know did when designing our materials and these were some you know information about you know and the systems that were actually used in our calculations i want to tell you one by one later but before uh, you know you can copy all these uh, things in your you know design materials and i will provide this information in you know in my you know, this video description also okay and save this and now you can copy all these uh, you know these three file over in each folder control b and Control B and over here also. Control B. Now, for convergence test, uh, you uh, you must have to you know start from lattice constant. Uh, that's why I want to move from this uh, lattice constant. Uh, in lattice constant, first I want to change the name of this. Let's uh, make it M O S two. Yeah. Rename this. And now for lattice constant, what you have to do is uh, the other. Uh, these were you know design lattice parameter uh when we design our these were some information you know value of uh, you know design uh you know mos2 our design monolayer so we must have to uh, check uh, whether our system is stable in this parameter or not what is the lattice constant uh, of uh, mos2 uh, monolayer uh, first you have to you know check that uh, this one, this uh, our system is actually design system is you know material is two dimensional. Therefore, you need to check this uh, two information only. This one is A and this one is B and this one is C. Uh, you can also you know see that X, Y and Z X. Uh, along this Z uh, X is our system is you know actually this is the vacuum part. Uh, so you can write over you know roughly write over 13.37. You can roughly write over 14 also. 14 okay i actually need only uh, two digits after decimal so try try to delete all these these information okay these help save this and this one is actually the vacuum part uh, so that uh, there is you know uh, no interaction between the atoms of uh, you know uh, between the atoms of other cells so to you know avoid uh, that those things interaction of the uh, neighboring atom atoms and um, we actually use the uh, vacuum uh, over you know that uh, z axis so what i trying to do over here is you know i actually uh, try to uh, change these uh, two parameter by uh, plus minus three four percent and uh, try to you know mm, uh, you know calculate the total energy or uh, try to run this uh, file and uh, want the total energy for these systems at uh, 3.19 what is the total energy at uh, 3.19 uh, 
eight if uh, decreasing portion uh, portion three point one eight three point one nine. Okay, I want to try to make uh, the folder for each, you know, and this uh, lattice uh, hello, this lattice constant. Okay, this one is for three point one nine. Okay, I want to make three point one nine. Okay, this one is one folder, and in the same way three point one eight. Okay, in the same way plus minus uh, four percent up to four five percent uh, you can do in, in a percentage way or what is the uh, two percent of 3.19 you can decrease in that way or otherwise you can decrease in this way also 3.19 3.18 mm, and uh, three point i want to increase one nine mean <coughs> 3.2 and okay 3.2 zero you can write not into Rename. I want to rename this 3.20 and the new folder again 3. Point, how much 3.17 uh, and in this way you can you know uh, try to you know make the folder for 3.21 plus minus this one is for 0% this one is for you can uh, increasing portion type of percentage this one is decreasing type of portion so I want to run for this portion and copy all this this uh, input parameter over here this one is for 3.19 okay you can see through this one is for 3.19 and save it in the same way copy these three input control c 3.19 and 3.18 control b and this one is for 3.18 right over here 3.18 in the same way 3.18 it okay you can see in the input part we actually use ggpv as our pseudo potential or functional gga and you can see the uh, the input uh, in a input parameter portion and save it okay i want to run for you know 3.19 uh, okay open the terminal okay write down over to sister and right now the input mo ms to dot and this t and try to s2 dot out okay enter okay our system is running right now okay it takes some time to you know uh, to sort out our output uh, to give uh, that output parameters and what we need is like it takes uh, i think uh, two three minutes I already did all these calculations, uh, uh, that's why I don't want to do it again. So I want to see, stop it. I want to show you what we got after running this. Okay, lattice constant. We will get 3.19. Okay, 3.19. We will get this type of uh, uh, files or parameter after you know running the those system. I want to show you. This MIS2 dot out. Okay, uh, for 3.19, what is the energy? You can see total energy equal to how much? We need this one, this one only. Where is that total energy? I need, okay, here you can see the total energy. For 3.19, total energy equal to uh, 857.31 minus 857.31. You can see over here. Yes, this total equal to minus 3.89. In the same way, you can see in the 3.18 also. For 3.18, what is the total in for you can see, so see yes, uh, 3 for 3.18, what is the total energy? The total energy is, you know, over here. Okay, I want to show you the total energy E total equal to yeah, minus 3.81, something like that. Okay, in this way, you will run uh, for 3.173 it is <coughs> okay it is really difficult to you know do uh, one by one uh, section and uh, run our folder it is really difficult so i have uh, the script uh, for uh, the calculations uh, i want to show you the script for the convergence test okay my script okay okay you can i don't want to make another folder okay please 
now you can see the script letter actually show you over here and the script is actually uh, written in you know this Fortran language uh, you can see the sequence 4 i in sequence 3.192 uh, in the range of 3.11 3.12 up to 3.27 because uh, our design material lattice constant is uh, around 3.19 and that's why we have to do the convergence test over uh, plus minus 4 percent up to plus minus 4 percent that's why uh, you can you will change the parameters the value from here if you're um, you are doing for other materials uh, you will change uh, the value on, uh, from here uh, and the next thing is uh, we actually use uh, the pseudo potential as uh, psf format our pseudo potential psf format that's why right over here and this portion main portion is this portion this portion is the path of siesta uh, uh, how we um, get the path of uh, this system i want to show you okay first um, okay open the terminal and write cd over here and write with say yes siesta okay enter this and this one is you know uh, the path of uh, siesta and try to copy this and paste over here this is script on this is i will provide this script in my video description you have to paste over here and i already paste i already made this script and try to write uh, write the mos2.mdf and this one is the our system file up to you know mdf file and okay yes uh, we will uh, try to uh, you know do the convergence test for a lattice constant that's why uh, right down here dollar i and dollar i in place of a b uh, here uh, 3.19 or 3.19 in place of that you will put uh, dollar i dollar i this one is the vacuum part you can you will uh, change you, you you can write over 15 also 14 also as as you wish and uh, try to make uh, this uh, this vacuum part uh, 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 try to put uh, the large value so that there is no interaction of neighboring auto because uh, our system is only two dimensional uh, we are that's why and the next thing is you know uh, in last part write down eof this one is you know this is the script part of uh, the system uh, i will show you how the script work and you can uh, write over dot slash siesta and mos2 over here and save this and try to close it and i want to delete now i did not need all this folder over here it is really difficult to make one by one so i already made a script so no need to you know uh, make a folder so uh, let's rename this after you know writing this this script rename this i want to open this script yeah you can see the script over here here i sequence three point uh, it automatically you know make a folder uh, by changing the lattice constant uh, starting from 3.10 3.11 3.12 3.13 up to 3.27 and uh, also it will uh, run our uh, uh, all the you know uh, parameters and, uh, and give the uh, output uh, that we actually need uh, so here is uh, you know dollar i dollar i in place of you know we are doing for uh, we are doing convergence test for lattice constant and that's why in place of a and b our system is two dimension that's why in place of a and b uh, here are dollar i dollar i and i want to show you in the last part also here yeah, eof in this way i will provide all this information uh, in this uh, script uh, you know description also uh, if you are doing for other uh, you know uh, other system uh, let's, uh, let us uh, consider if you are doing for CRS to two times CRS we'll try to uh, your system name will be uh, CRS2 in place of MOS2 CRS2 um, and uh, maybe there will be some hot change in this atomic coding parameter all other others parameter will be same will be same for all you know materials okay I want to close this and I want to how to run this you know this screen I want to show you she has smooth and try to accelerate make our script executable so try to as she has mode plus ms2 now our system is ready dot slash m o s2 and tab 
well yes you can see 3.43.19 it uh, our script automatically uh, make a folder of 3.19 and then it will automatically make a folder for 3.11 3.12 and do the calculations and now i already did all the calculation for lattice percent so i don't want to run it it will take like you know 10 15 or if your laptop is too slow then it will take uh, one hour or half an hour uh, to complete this job okay i want to stop this i want to stop this okay i want to show you i already did all the calculation for lattice constant and after complete your job you will get this type of you know value over here and want to close this okay i already made all these things over here because i already did uh, the calculation of conversion stage for mos2 i want to show you again after you know complete okay i'm trying to write the name sh okay after doing this what we need is uh, you know if the lattice constant is 3.19 what is the total energy of the system what is the total we need the total energy in this one so we'll you know make a graph of you know this uh, lattice constant versus total energy this type of graph i already made a graph and i want to show you here is total energy here is the you know lattice constant and i want to show you it is really difficult to you know in it it 3.19 lattice constant what is the total energy uh, try to uh, copy and note this and again uh, it 3.18 what is the total energy and in the same way 8.3.18 it is really difficult to you know note all these information one by one i have a script i have uh, some um, command over here so no need to you know do for that note so i want to show you that command it will take some time because i have so many command over here okay and this one is for gnu band okay what is that command i actually forgot that command i randomly okay use that command right now okay mm. i also saved that command somewhere but i forgot well, okay this one grip something like that grip uh this uh, uh total equal to and in this i will provide this command in my you know uh, in my video description and this one is energy versus e and gui is lattice constant okay yes you can see over here at uh, 3.10 the total energy is this much at 3.11 the total energy is uh, this command have all the you know collect all the information from each folder uh, in this way and make uh, one you know file for you guys okay i want to close it and try to open this and you can see the beautiful i actually need at three point one zero this much energy so i don't need uh, this one so delete it is really difficult to you know delete one by one so try to copy this and here is one option find and replace and replace it okay in the same way i want to copy over up to this copy and paste over here and replace in the same way this one control c and control v replace now it is really uh, easy to you know plot uh, the graph figure for uh, this uh, a different uh, lattice uh, you know constant what is total energy and you know what is the optimized you know lattice constant of these design materials what is the lattice constant of this mos2 uh, this uh, graph will help so how to plot the graph i will show you okay this x and increase and then try to um, energy in this way okay we'll see the beautiful graph over here and let's decorate it i already made so many videos how to you know uh, 
integrate the graph so i don't uh, need that much time here is gy energy which is electron volt and try to this one is alvatic bond and i want to make it two three and try to apply and you can see the beautiful and in the same way i want to do for y-axis also in y-axis what ttic lattice and yes t b and t constant which is angstrom ng that's why i want to make albatic bond and also want to make 3.1 okay after doing this and try to fix this also let's make a two and let make the circle for each apply if it is good you you can also change the color mm, not black right apply in this one right in this way okay and which one is the closest one and uh, from this graph you can you will see the you know you will find the in the lattice constant uh, of you know uh, of your design materials what is the lattice constant here you can see in this point this 2.8 uh, uh, 3.19 or 3.18 or 3.16 i don't know or what is over here and uh, uh, this one is the minimum energy mm, uh, if we you know actually you know uh, talk about the you know the magnitude uh, the minimum energy at minimum energy is uh, the lattice constant is uh, around uh, 3.17 or 18 uh, so if you want to draw that that box okay i want to draw ellipse over here i already made a video uh, in a upon it how to draw and okay if uh, lattice constant is over here you can you know make it this way and save over here and print setup and in place of we need to keep ing accept and print over here okay you can see the beautiful you know beautiful figure um, bearing energy and lattice constant for your uh, you know project work or uh, thesis type of work so it is not necessary you know include this type of you know graph in your uh, if you are doing your research paper and no need to you know include this type of you know graph it is only for your thesis or project work and in the same way you can see over here also and in the same way now we uh, do the convergence test for and that uh, uh, is our design plan for key point and for key point also what is our lattice constant this our lattice constant is around okay let's post and decide what is what is our lattice constant first i want to fix that i want to make it 14 and then we will do the convergence test for key point before that okay i already did a convergence test for lattice constant so for that what you have to do is like open the terminal and okay now and this one you can see yes okay open this and you can see yeah, up to 3.14 you can see our 3.5723 what is the constant value and you can see 8. 3.18 3.13 3.10 3.1 uh, increasing in increasing order you can see 3.21 3. Uh, 3.0 3.0 3.06 3.01 1.3013 and then increase 30133 again decreasing these were the constant you know uh, value this two were and that's why uh, pick the uh, list one uh, list value over here which one is the uh, um, list energy level 3.132 3. yeah this one uh, this one is about 3.18 therefore our lattice uh, you know 
that is constant is around 3.18 this point is 3.18 that's why i try to put for our miss not miss got up key point over here you can see it takes a lot of time you know 3.18 our let is constant for mis2 3.18 and now let us try to check for key point and try to write it our you know system is uh, two dimensional that's why uh, try to put 10 10 uh, over here here is one if your system is uh, three dimensional also you will uh, check the convergence test for this part also this uh, z uh, axis also for z axis also but um, here we uh, we no need to you know check the convergence test for uh, for this also now I want to shape this um, it is really difficult to do you know changing um, these parameter by one by one try to put you know, for uh, it uh, five key point what is the total energy it's six key point what is the total energy it uh, seven um, what is the total it's really difficult to you know uh, do the convergence test by one by one i already have a script for it also so i want to share that script for key point and here we already did all the calculation and here is the script i want to show you by i will provide this script in my video description and I want to show you here is the script um i started uh, i will try to check uh, the you know uh, key point from 5 to 15 or if your laptop is uh, really nice if your laptop uh, processor is really nice if your laptop is you know like uh, um, uh, i7 uh, type uh, then you will you know do for up to 25 30 you know, or 40 uh, so that if we uh, check and do the conversion state uh, uh, test for a higher number that will be you know more accurate or more appropriate uh, for our further calculation and that to hello will be more you know accurate for our you know other calculation so here my laptop is not that much good that's why I, I will try to do up to 15 only from 5 to 15 and all the uh, things over here are same you will write over here your you know executable uh, the path of the siesta that actually and I, I already show you in, in the lattice constant path uh, right down over here uh, the three in place of uh, 3.19 uh, right down here 3.18 3.18 and you will put over here 15 also uh, vacuum part and now our main thing is to you know check the uh, do the conversion stage for key points so uh, you have to put over here dollar i and here dollar i uh, so in place um, around you know, vacuum part try to write one only so save this and try to run this as i run this before shs mode mos2 dot ss in this try to make it and dot slash and m o s and enter do enter it will uh, make uh, you know if we do enter okay i want to show you try show you i already run all the calculations so i want to show you how it works how our script works okay it will automatically make the you know folder for okay dot slash okay okay our calculation it automatically you know make the folder for 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 key point what is the total energy in the same way 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.7 10, 9 10 11 12 up to 15 i don't want to run it again because i already do all the calculations so i want to stop it okay i want to delete this and in the same way what you have to do if we need a key point versus uh, that uh, in, uh, total energy uh, for that what you need is you know uh, you need the command direct command for your a key point versus total energy energy versus key point you can write key okay the 0.5 the total energy is minus uh 857.30 at uh, six uh, the total energy is in this way now yes so if you if you don't want to use this command and uh do 
uh, try to you know do one by one is you also do by you know at 0 0.7 what is the output what is the total energy you will check from this output file here is the total energy okay our calculation okay where is that here here and you will see here the com job job is completed and try to scroll off and here is the total energy at, at 0 0.5 key point the total energy uh, is this so try to note this at 0 point and at 0 0.6 in the same way what is the total energy try to uh, see that uh, from this uh, output file out dot out and in this way you will uh, get uh, the information of uh, this type at 0 0.5 the total energy is this and i don't need this part so i want to replace this part find replace replace in the same way this total energy also replace this control c control b replace okay now you can see the key point but this this total energy this key point is along x-axis and the our energy is along y-axis and now i want to show you how to make a graph for this i'll let me make a graph for, for lattice constant so uh, do the same things as i do uh, for lattice constant i want to show you from here well i already made a graph for key point and you will get the graph like this for key point yes uh, from this you can see uh, the uh, constant energy is uh, from you know uh, the value 14 uh, try to one okay, okay from point this 11 from the key point 11 to build 13 14 and 15 uh, the energy is constant so uh, the this uh, key point for our input uh, is you know 15 if you guys have a, a nice laptop uh, you will uh, you know put the values 18 19 20 uh, for your uh, better calculation for your you know uh, accurate calculations uh, in your input so here uh, i actually did uh, the key point is up to 15 so i want to uh, took the greater key point means the more accurate result so you know keep uh, this thing in your mind and try to you know mm -hmm. Uh, pick the number for key point the more key point uh, from 11 you you or uh, you can also uh, uh, put the value uh, 11 in, in place of key point because uh, from 11 uh, the energy is constant but better to put this 15 because the more uh, the value the you know, the accurate uh, will be the result so i want to put this 15 in place of that okay okay and one to save it and try to set up you need uh, okay where is that sip to show you where is that key point okay where is that one yes this one control c i want to save over here yes you can see the beautiful you know uh, figure for the convergence test key point convergence test and now our final is for mess cut up and this one is also same I'll try to you know um, try to write here 3.18 3.18 now our you know you not need to you know put the value of key point uh, for you know before doing this uh, you know mess cut up uh, so after doing this mess cut up uh, if you you are you know going to you know check uh, you know doing uh, the calculation for electronic optical property and then only uh, put uh, the key point uh, the actual key point that you will uh, you get from you know that uh, portion convergence portion of key point and now I'm, i i will try to check uh, the convergence test i will do convergence test for uh, uh, for mess cut up so for that for mess cut up uh, what we have to do is like you know in place of a uh, mess up uh try to write this and dollar i in place and i want to show you uh, uh, here i try to check uh, the mess cut up the more value of mess cut up means more accurate result but my laptop is not that much good so i will try to uh, do uh, i'm trying to do from this uh, 52 or 350 ry 
Randburg report, you know, this energy level. Uh, 50, uh, the calculation uh, will be, uh, you know, uh, this script to make a folder for, you know, next cut of 50, then 100, then 150, uh, uh, 200, 250, in this way, it will make, uh, do our calculation. And let's try to rename this script at dot sh in the form of dot sh. Let make this script uh, executable. So it's ch mode and the plus x and o. And try to enter this. It will, I will show you uh, one try and just make a folder for try. I already did all the calculation for Ms. Corp. Uh, that's why I don't need to do the calculation, same calculation again. I will show you. It will take so like one hour, two hour uh, for, you know, the complete, for this job complete. That's why I don't want to do this again. I will show you only. I want to show you only CSCM MOD plus X and MO as dot SH and dot slash MO. Yes, not yes. Yes, our script is fine, and we're going to, you know, try to do our calculations as you can see over here. It will make uh, start from zero point. Uh, it means uh, fifty. Uh, miss cut up, then it will automatically make a folder for hundred, uh, two hundred in this way. I don't want to do this again, so I want to close this. Okay. I already did all the calculations for you know 50 100 so i want to so what we need is it uh, 50 mis of what is the total energy uh, so for that so no need to uh, note one by one i already show you the command over here so try to uh, change the name miss got up Miscut up dot. Okay, you will get uh, the uh, information about it. Uh, fifty miscut up. Uh, the total energy is this much: eight hundred minus something and fifty in this way. And uh, try to do the same as I do uh, already before in that lattice constant calculation. So replace these and try to replace. This also control B and try to control C. Control B. Okay. Now um, by using XM Grace, you will um, also plot the figure as I already did. Okay. From you know this. Okay. One to fifty. Okay. From this uh, 200 uh, mass cut of energy, uh, not 200, 250. From 250, the energy remain total energy remain constant. So it is better to you know uh, choose uh, our uh, mass cut of value is around 350. From 350, uh, you will uh, take uh, if your laptop is good, you will do the calculation up to 400, 500, 600. Um, the more mass cut of value means. Uh, the more accurate result so my laptop is not that much good though. that's why i don't want to you know pick uh, the more value uh, you will pick uh, 300 also uh, 350 here i uh, try to pick 350 350 is you know suitable for my calculation so i don't want to now do furthermore and okay and here the beautiful graph that i saved for thesis or you can you can use this beautiful figure for your thesis or project work okay I uh, do this for vacuum also. For vacuum, what you have to do, you have to change that vacuum part only, and you can see over here this part only, this uh, uh, z axis over z axis along z axis. Our you know design material two dimensional. That's why along z axis there is you know vacuum part. Then so you will check the convert. You will do the conversion test for vacuum part also, if you need. It, if you need. Otherwise, no need to check uh, the convergence test. Uh, no, no need to do the convergence test if you guys are doing thesis or project work. No need to do the convergence test for vacuum part. Otherwise, it's fine. Well, after doing convergence test, 
uh, let them uh, make a proper input of the above design material to study on structural and electronic properties uh, here our main theme or our main aim is to uh, you know study structural and electronic properties of our design material uh, that is uh, two dimensional mos2 so uh, after doing this convergence test uh, let's uh, try to make uh, you know the proper input uh, fdf so for that uh, uh, let's uh, make a a new folder and uh, i want to make a new folder folder name is one and uh, try to copy all the you know input file for siesta uh, actually input file for siesta uh, covers fdf file and psf file so i want to copy all those you know file over in a new folder so this one and uh, this one and the next one is fdf so copy this and paste over here uh, after that let's open the this uh, let's uh, change the name uh, mos2 as mos2 and rename it i want to rename it and let's open the fdf file now our next next step is here uh, actually you know input all the parameters uh, uh, that we got uh, from the convergence test uh, after doing convergence test uh, so um, actually i want to first i want to you know uh, uh, put some parameter uh, for our structural and electronic properties so for that i already did all the calculations for structural and electronic properties of the materials so uh, i want to show you and copy all those parameter over here and i want to tell you one by one so no need to worry about all those things all these parameters so i want to just wait I think uh, this is not here. And where is that MDF file? I want to search. And that was uh, that is actually the uh, that MDF is actually the, yeah here is the MDF file. So I want to copy from here to and up to up to here. Copy this and I want to paste over here and up to this. So. I want to so no need to worry about all the things i want to tell you all the things one by one so okay okay save it now we can see all these things and where is our new folder and this one and open this uh, uh, fdf file so we are trying to make uh, a proper uh, fdf uh, uh, file uh, to study this uh, structural electronic property what i did here was like you know um, copy these uh, parameter over here I want to tell you one by one later so first of all I want to uh, put here the parameter that we actually uh, uh, well, after doing the convergence test uh, of all the things uh, the first thing is lattice parameter and I want to show you from convergence test uh, what is our latest lattice constant over here uh, okay this one okay open now the lattice constant is about you know what is the minimum uh, energy over here uh, over here uh, so we have to uh, fix that and in this part uh, the energy is minimum and so that uh, we want to choose uh, uh, the lattice constant we want to you know the lattice constant of this design material is uh, actually located at this part so i want to uh, fix uh, fix this and copy from here and the lattice constant is around you know eight point you know this this two parameter which one yeah this one 1.33 and 1.33 this two which one is the lowest you know this uh, total energy yeah, this is actually the uh, three point three uh, three one three two. This one, so our you know the lattice uh, constant is around uh, three point one eight. I, I already told it uh, when doing the lattice uh, during our lattice convergence. So I want to open. Oh, where is that here? Sorry for that. I want to again open this. I want to write over here uh, three point one eight. Because our lattice constant of this design material is around 3.18 that we got from this convergence test, and this one is uh, vacuum power, so no need to, uh, you know, do convergence for lattice constant. So I want to put over here 14, so angstrom, and no need to change the other part. And after doing this, uh, what our next step is, we also. Uh, 
uh, do the convergence did the convergence test for a key point so what is the uh, what is the convergence after doing convergence what is our key points i want to show you and our key point is we uh, took over here a uh, 15 so i want to put the 15 over here i already uh, put or put over here 15 and 15 and this one is uh, this one is along you know vacuum part so no need to uh, you know uh, include here uh, 15 so because our uh, you know system is along xy uh, direction only uh, two dimensional system design material is two, di uh, two dimensional so no need to you know put over here and uh, our next part is uh, like uh, we do the convergence test for this mess caught up where is that mess caught up and i want to this uh, this is around 350 so want to put uh, the mess cut up is around 350 mm, where is that one i already put 350 over i think i already put yeah 350 ry mess cut up so this is the value that i already put over here that's no need to change so and now our next step uh, for electronic properties we we have to you know include the uh, uh, this uh, bandline information over here uh, this one so how to uh, get these bandline informations uh, for that what we have to do is um, okay i want to show you and for that uh, let's uh, uh, go over here and try to you know uh, type key path over here and enter here is the site uh, from this we uh, you know actually uh, uh, go to the actual you know get the actual uh, you know band lines from here so I want to CIF because we have a CIF file over here and just choose the CIF we already have a CIF during design our material so open this and try to calculate uh, and click in that calculate the structure and you can see over here just it takes times my you know wi-fi is not that much good maybe that's the reason too and uh, these were the symmetry point you know label over here uh, these were the information about uh, band lines but uh, what we actually need is uh, just to go to the uh, uh, go to the literature review what they actually put over here so i want to do what is our paper I already you know downloaded a paper uh, so I want to check uh, what symmetry points we uh, this one is the monolayer actually I want to show you MOS2 this one is monolayer so in, in this monolayer actually they uh, put uh, they actually put gamma k m and gamma information only so from this also uh, we only put the information of this gamma one is gamma and next one is k and uh, m and that again gamma so i want to show you from here and okay where is our this, one, this is not a document this is over here and okay as i what is the information of gamma gamma is around zero 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 so uh, this gamma information as you uh, see from here and the next one is uh, uh, key so i want to put the information of uh, key where is, where is key okay this this information in the top of control x okay and enter control p okay uh, gamma k m where is m m is uh, i already put m over here and next one is again gamma because uh, why i put gamma uh, k m and gamma only cause uh, from literally review um, they only put this uh, gamma k m uh, k m gamma information only that's why we put over here this is the easiest way to do you know the uh, our thesis or project or so do the literature review if your design material is new one uh, if you design the uh, new materials uh, the you know uh, there is no literature review on that material so in that case there is a different way to you know find out these uh, parameter uh, this is a band line information uh, so symmetry lines so this one only and uh, all the information is uh, almost ready and want to sh uh, 
I'll tell you one by one this one is the bandline informations and uh, this one is project density or oh, these were the parameter that i put uh, over here do this uh, put the same parameter uh, if you are doing uh, if you guys uh, were doing are doing you know uh, the, on a new materials uh, uh, you know doing your thesis or project on a new materials and uh, put the same parameters uh, no need to change this parameter cause uh, ggapb we actually use ggapb i, I already uh, told uh, about these parameters over here double zeta polarizations and uh, no need to do this uh, spin polarize this one is actually for magnetic properties uh, no need to uh, do this magnetic properties cause uh, uh, we actually uh, do here uh, uh, the calculations uh, to find out the structural and electronic properties only if you are doing for magnetic properties uh, so you have to do in this way uh, hashtag no need to remove this hashtag but uh, right now no need to you know this uh, uh, magnetic properties and that's why I'm, uh, I want to use this hashtag over here and uh, the the information about all the things uh, is same uh, as, as it is if you are doing you know for other materials too so no need to change so our system is almost ready to you know calculate uh, the structural and electronic properties uh, let's uh, run these uh, things so i want to shape this and now where is that new folder okay here now to run these things so sts star and M O S two S T E T S two dot out over here and enter. Okay, our system is ready to run. Uh, after the uh, after job will finish, then we calculate the structural and electronic property. But right now, I already did all the calculation. It, it will take uh, I think so. Four, five, or ten minutes to complete uh, this job that I give over here uh, from the terminal. But uh, so I don't want to do this again. Uh, so I want to stop this. Mm, I already did all the calculation over here. So I want to show you. Uh, okay, over here. I want to show you uh, this where the you know output uh, that we got uh, after you know uh, run, uh, run that you know the, those. Uh, uh, file and what our next step is you know uh, to calculate the structural property uh, in structural property what we actually find uh, was like uh, we actually uh, do in, uh, you know do the property uh, calculate the property for bone length bone angle uh, and uh, okay I want to show you over here and where is our that okay I already did all the, uh, you know, I already calculate all the, you know, structural property, uh, do the information about, you know, find out the uh, structural properties. Uh, uh, so I want to show you, uh, and then we will uh, do for electronic property too. So for that, first open the Excel, a bit to, you know, note all the things about structural properties or convergence states in Excel. So I want to open this and here. Uh, we actually uh, in structural way we actually include this mesh cutoff is around 350 uh, ry and lattice constant is 3.18 angstrom key point is 15 and uh, I already uh, I also did a convergence test for vacuum so uh, I put over here that is 15 and but we put over there they are 14 so I want to put over here 14 control s okay now how to find the bone length and bone angle i also uh, 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 will tell you about you know how to you know calculate cohesive energy later before that uh, let us uh, try to find find this uh, bone length and bone angle how to do this for that what we need is uh, go to this uh, you know this file that we actually run uh, uh, in over here that i stop in a new folder that is over here but but i already did the calculation so that i want to do here so open the terminal and what do you have to do is um, try to you know uh, 
type the command ase gui uh, uh, star uh, dot structure that out and enter do enter open the terminal you have to uh, type this command over here and do enter it will take some there yeah, a beautiful you know uh, scene over here then go to this uh, new and show the bone over here well, let's make uh, too small and also label it and label the symbol element yeah a oh, beautiful you know this uh, picture over here mos2 over here i already show you during uh, design our material one is uh, mo item and two is uh, SRO, mos2 this for how to calculate here i already uh, do the calculation for both uh, note the information about you know bone length and bone angle for bone length what you have to do is uh, press the control and click uh, on mo atom and uh, okay i want to show you nicely and click over s atom too oh sorry uh, press the control and try to click in s atom yeah you can see mo dash s where is around 2.421 angstrom 2. Point, yeah, 2.421 angstrom so the bone length uh, um, of uh, ammo uh, and the s between the ammo and the s uh, uh, okay what what happened i think something happened our system going okay okay over here let's open where is that Oh, I want to show you this okay 2.421 uh, press the control click the ammo atom and s atom so oh, it's around 2.421 so in monolayer mos2 uh, the bone length between ammo and s is around 2.421 and bone angle for bone angle what you have to do is uh, press the control control and try to click uh, in s atom press the control and also click ammo atom and s atom and you can see over here the bone angle is around 81.8 degree uh, so we have, if we have 81.8 degree bone angle between s mo and s 81 and now for you know to check the stability of these materials uh, here uh, we have to do you know we try to i try to show you the you know uh, the geometrical uh, to check the geometrical stability uh, we have to find the cohesive energy for that and how to find cohesive energy I want to show you um, the cohesive energy is calculated by using this formula uh, E cohesive equal to E total this one is the you know total energy of uh, MOS2 design materials minus X is the you know number of atoms E MO means energy of MO atom only minus y is the number of s atom and es is the total energy of s atom only so we already calculate the total energy of mos2 but uh, still we uh, we did, uh, do not calculate this uh, mo and s atom so for that we have to calculate uh, before uh, you know uh, calculating this uh, cohesive energy we have to you know run our file for mo and s atoms so for that uh, let's uh, try to make uh, a new file for mo and s atom to calculate the total energy of mo and s atom separately so for that i already did a calculations for mo and s atom so for that i already made a separate file for mo and s atom for that uh, this i want to open this i only run for mo and s atom i made a file input file uh, for uh, mo atoms uh, so mo dot fd where is that mo dot fd yeah over here yeah what you have to do is like uh, just you have to uh, for uh, to calculate the you know uh, total energy of single atom what you have to do is like uh, just mo number of atom is n number of c is n if you add uh, yeah uh, here is the uh, mo information and uh, this atomic number is 42 and in the same way uh, but uh, in place of lattice parameter uh, a b c uh, try to create a vacuum over a, uh, over a b c in, in this three x y and z side uh, that's why i want to put uh, 15 15 15 angstrom over here and uh, atomic coordinate information is 0 0 0 
so try to uh, do the zero 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 and all the informations uh, over here is same as as it is as we you know uh, made up uh, during the proper input fdl file and there is no need to change any information over here uh, one thing you have to notice is uh, you have to change this uh, you have to do this spin polarized true and try to you know remove uh, remove that star hashtag sign from here <coughs> and save it and try to uh, uh, run this one i already run so i want to make the another file not mo try okay what you have to do is uh, we need one mo we are doing for mo so we need the mo fdf file and mo fps ever copy this and paste over here and what you have to do is you know run this using siesta hmm. what you have to change is mo fdf and mo dot out i already did all the calculations so i want to show you only so it take it will take some some time five uh, two three minutes to com complete the job so i don't want to run this again so um, to control stop it and i already did uh, the calculation over here i want to show you the output mo dot out where is that mo dot over okay here is mo dot over from this uh, you see over here we need the total energy uh, from this Two, uh, two minus two point. Okay, I want to show you. Yes, for MO atoms, our total energy is this one, and as you can see over from here. And in the same way, we also do a calculation for S atoms. Uh, for single atom, what you have to do is uh, do the same. No need to change anything. Uh, just you have to replace that MO by S and uh, this atomic number is 16 and over here you have to change and the lattice parameter is you have to put over 15 15 15 or 20 20 20 whatever do the uh, make it a vacuum part make try to make it vacuum create a vacuum over over um, along uh, x y and z axis uh, that's it and the atomic number is 0 0 0 for a single atom to calculate the you know total energy of single atom and no need to change any other things and the 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 important part is try to uh, you know uh, make this spin polarize true and uh, remove that hashtag from here and save this and try to run this and i already did all the calculation for mo that's why i want to show you the total energy for s atom total energy for s atom over here and okay I'll, i already pick the total energy from here here you can see for s atom this one and uh, total energy for mos2 design material we already run that in this part so i want to show you where is that s dot out i want to this one okay here this one is for mos2 that's why here is the total energy and you can you also pick from here and i want to show you so try to you know uh, try to you know pick all the information in in excel so it is better to you know do all the calculations and this one you can see the total energy now use the formula this formula to calculate the co uh, uh, total energy. why we calculate cohesive energy is like you know uh, to check the geometrical stability of you know this uh, design material you can also uh, uh, check the uh, dynamic stra stability for oh, dynamic stability is really really we need you know high uh, computing uh, computer or uh, we uh, need uh, the supercomputer so it is really uh, impossible to uh, you know check the dynamic stability or to do reform calculations in our local computer so but in thesis or you know a project or no need to you know, you know check the dy dynamic stability only you have to uh, put the information about the geometrical stability and all these parameter bone line bone angle in a structural property that's it and okay so use this formula over here and what i did is uh, 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 2s uh, 2 means uh, uh, number of s atom in our design material is 2 and uh, that's why uh, we use this formula over here and x plus y is the number or total number of atom that is 3 one is the uh, mo atom and 2 is s atom using this uh, for, uh, we calculate the cohesive energy now uh, whether 
after doing the calculation for quiz you can see uh, our you know structural property calculation is almost uh, you know uh, is uh, finished uh, now our next step is uh, to do electronic property uh, before uh, doing uh, before moving uh, to do you know that electronic property part let's compare our you know these uh, uh, finding data with uh, you know previously uh, you know published data so for, for that i already mentioned uh, as i uh, i already mentioned in my video to do a literature review so for that i already download one paper over here and i want to compare my data with this published paper data so here uh, as you can see our calculated lattice constant is around 3.18 and you can see the lattice constant of monolayer MIS2 is around 3.195, which is too close to this value. And uh, the, uh, this uh, published paper also uh, do the uh, make a uh, site uh, 32 and 16 uh, of two paper in which uh, the lattice constant is around 3.20 and 3.23. That's why our lattice constant is too close with this uh, value. So and uh, also I want to here you can see the cohesive energy. Our calculated cohesive energy is the 5.09, and here your the published cohesive energy value is around 4.97. So our you know uh, this value is uh, too close uh, to that of uh, this value. So we are almost done on structural property. Now what we uh, do is like uh, we move uh, for our electronic property for that go to that uh, this uh, folder that we made over here and i actually you know run all the uh, these uh, things over here and for electronic property the main information is uh, around uh, it actually based on this bandline this information band information so uh, as i already uh, mentioned that how to you know uh, find include all these parameter over here so after that uh, what we I already run my calculation over here. I want to show you how to run this. And this uh, process is same. That is uh, just open the terminal and use this command system and we have to that and enter. And uh, I already run this command. So you can see over here our job is complete. And job is completed. That's why no need to run this again. I want to show you how to calculate the band structure over here. And open the terminal and type the command over here. GNU band. Then minus gnu band and then minus capital f and this gnu band file names uh, like mos2 and that's monolayer uh, tab uh, after monolayer like ban banks and as you can see over here this uh, this file name and i want to open this and you can see over here then greater than band dot that and do do enter and do enter and close this terminal and you can see the new file over here uh, and make a new folder B -A -N -D -S -N. and copy this band and dos where is then serial state and p dash information control c and paste over here control v now it's time to uh, make a graph of a band and dos i want to show you i already made a video of how to plot a band and project density of your uh, I already uploaded uh, those videos. You can uh, uh, watch those videos again if you need. And I want to show you again here XM Grace. And okay, open this. I want to make two graphs in one program, like as you can see over here. This one is the band information, this, this one is the DOS information. So I want to make like that this one. In, as uh, mentioned in paper that's why i go to here and look wait here and arrange graph and do the two column over here and do asset one is for band and another for dos and this one is for and input the data over here and band or dash and do okay we already shipped uh, that formula to do uh, zero so no need to shift it again and uh, want to watch this this one and uh, minus 16 to 4 so i want to make uh, the this wax sound minus 16 to 4 and in the range of 4 and y axis actually insist the uh, you know information value or 
E N E R G Y. You know, do that for me. Come on, two. Do it over here, and make. I already make a video on this. Uh, how to you know make a band graph? I want to do this again. I want to show you, and as you can see, helvetic bone and do apply. And do the same things that I do it uh, you know in my previous video. And what you have to do is like uh, now uh, make each band line as control all and somewhat and make black as it okay and also you have to x axis and main go display and a zero and the not red and I do it in this one i don't want to uh, talk uh, much about this how to draw this because i already uploaded the video about this so you can watch that and do the videos and now it's time to for x axis uh, for x axis before doing for x axis what you have to do is like um, go to this open this dot bands this one and uh, you can see over here do like this one you can see over here the information gamma key and then gamma and i want to put the information about all these things over here and okay just want to make it somewhat big okay it's time to do the for the x-axis and in x-axis also do uh, this one and go to this tick mark level and uh, apply this and uh, do red or black what do you need i need blue and uh, this dash 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 information and the specific grid and okay how much uh, tick mark and label uh, number of use ticks to use is like uh, gamma k m and gamma i think four that's why i make it four four okay in place of this uh, this g for gamma and k gamma equal to zero 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 gamma and zero and in place of k copy this information and paste over here and paste over here and you can see over here like again m and paste this value control c and paste over here and final one is for gamma and you can see you paste control c and paste over control p i'm oh, sorry paste over also you can paste the information this value of gamma over here too okay now asset and you can see the beautiful graph of this this uh, pen graph over here and from this you can see uh, this uh, below this uh, zero hello uh, there is like conduction band region and above this here where this one is uh, you know uh, no no there below this zero this is vanish band region and above this zero this is conduction band region this this line indicates the formula level and this gap is band gap so uh, here you can see the gap between this conduction band and balance band over here and now how to find this band gap so to find the band gap i already uh, reported and noted all the value over here how to do this for that this uh, uh, this uh, click in this band line and double click this and open this and click in this and do enter and you can see like this type of and which one is uh, the minimum value of, uh, of y axis and you have to note that value uh, here in excel uh, and uh, this one is for balance band you can see uh, 1.2152 1.2152 is the minimum value and go lower and i think you can see over here what is that value uh, 1.215 1.215 1.215 1.21 yeah you can see the lower value the, uh, then 1.1.19 1 1.8 1.17 i think this uh, this value is the lowest value so i already i think okay you have to pick the value over here how much 1.178661 Six six one. This one is the this one is the value for balance band. Only you have to pick the value of y axis only, and that's why. Okay, now for in conduction band, this one is the lowest band line. 
which is closer to the edge zero. So click in this landmine and click here and do enter. And you can see the value over here. And you can choose from this also the lowest value which is closer to zero. And you can see scroll, scroll, scroll. 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 82, 81, 810. 810 is low. And again, scroll, scroll down. And you can see over here uh, 0 0.54, 0 0.52, 0 0.52, 0, 0 0.52. I think this one is the value. 0 0.520739. 739. And what you have to do after this is like 8 these two value and i already had these two values this value and this value and you can see one point okay i'm going to delete this and show you equal to it the balance band region this value plus and this value and to enter 1.699 is the band gap band gap this was in early 1.6994 electron volt EV is the band gap uh, between them so what we can see that in MOS2 monolayer is you know semiconductor in nature as you can see uh, there is a gap between uh, uh, balance band and conduction band region the gap is uh, too small like one point which is uh, like 1.69 uh, that's why our you know design material and uh, monolayer is uh, semiconductor in nature as you can see over here the the band gap is around 1.57 1.57 and 1.69 is too close like the difference is like uh, by uh, i think 0.1 something 0.1 or 0.07 or something like that so uh, this two value uh, is uh, too close uh, that's why uh, our system is semiconductor in nature you can see now what i'm going to here is i want to plot in the dos information so go to the import and over here and here you can see the dos information and click here and what you have to do is like okay plot that data and okay and you can see do here two and do sf and we already see my night uh, you know the fermi energy to zero that's why no need to shift it again so the range is around 16 to up to four okay four you can see from here six minus 16 to four so minus 16 to four so here also the difference is around five again make this and two and apply you can see some little bit you know change over here i think here we have to shift i think we have to shift like uh, so in dos you have to shift the you know the information so i want to okay okay it's not large not large it's small should go move go to the edit data and the set operation not operation oh plot i think not plot a transformation result and Choose to select this code and do x equal to x plus Fermi energy level. Who is that? We have to find this information from here. The Fermi energy is like three point something, and Control C and paste over in that twelve. Okay, paste over here. Okay, and do accept. Oh, there is somewhat mistake over here. Okay, I want to make it again. Data input to over here and do the DOS and do the plot data and do this again and apply. Okay, there is two information over here. I think we have to you know delete one one information. So for that, what you have to do is like so I want to do it again. I think I did a mistake. I want to okay. Transformation. Not. Oh, to delete Q. Okay. 
as you can see over here. So not x, we have to shift, I think. Let's do this. I want to repeat this information, not this one. I did a mistake over here and do minus do minus and do oh sorry first kill the information then do it again I did the encode so, key okay now four dots uh, just uh, enter here and go to the data and import and let me see mistakes makes you you know some sometime doing mistake uh, makes you realize you know too long something so click over here and block data and enter and two i already and sf okay a little now try to see to direct those information i want to make this x axis from minus 16 to up to four and you can see five over here and do accept i want to make it like bold over here and do bold and now i want to set to the transformation evaluate and uh, do this and y equal to y do plus and our farm energy is like minus three point so i want to edit and accept okay you can see the beautiful you know dos figure and let's only one thing is remaining over here and do the same thing and zero and do here okay black not black i need red and accept and you can say okay just wait I forget over here. I forget I don't need to display these things. Okay. You can see the DOS, you know, figure also contribute like uh, and there is, you know, uh, above uh, this uh, zero, there is a conduction band region and below zero, there is balance band region. And between conduction and balance, there is a gap. So this band graph is, you know, contributing, you know, uh, this uh, uh, by total density of state, like uh, density of state. So you can write here like along z axis dense density of state get to accept okay the beautiful no need to display the tick over here and apply okay the beautiful graph you can open this way and you can use this graph in your thesis or product work and let me make it Ban dos dot that make it hard. name this graph name. I already made a video how to make a graph on this, so I don't want to go detail on it. And now our you know this thing is like almost finished. Now the next part is for yeah you can see the beautiful graph over here. Uh, uh, now on if you are you know doing your thesis or project what do you have to write in your thesis or project like uh, you can see our system there is uh, the gap between uh, balance band and conduction band region uh, uh, which is around one point i think uh, 1.699 of electron volts uh, that's why our system uh, is a semiconductor in nature and this uh, density of stress is contributing the band uh, in, uh, graph over here you can right like in that way and now now here you can see from here they also you know uh, try to you know solve from this uh, project density of store want to show you how to uh, you know make a graph of a project density of state for that let us uh, rename this project density of state as by giving one name and now for by this one so what you have to do is open the terminal and uh, open the terminal over here and type fmp dos fmp dos and try to enter do enter and do the final and 
PDOS and output filing what you have to do is like uh, our uh, actually which uh, atom or metal is contributing towards you know conduction band region or valence band region uh, this uh, PDOS is actually uh, reflect these information so now what we have to do is uh, uh, first open that periodic table over here and you can see ammo uh, electronic configuration of ammo where is that ammo and okay you can see over here ammo ammo is 4d electronic configuration is 4d uh, 5s 4d 5s that's why we need information of two orbital like 5s and 4d so i want to make it mo 5s dot that in this way one is for uh, mo 5s and dot that and do enter and right here we are doing for mo atom so right mo and n uh, n is around uh, in front of this uh, s there is five so try to put over here five and do enter in s or uh, in s and uh, the data for l is uh, zero as you can see the magnetic quantum number for yeah you can see for s you can see here l equal to zero uh, quantum number is uh, zero that's why for p uh, l is one and for d l is two and for d l is two and for f l is three so in that way i want to put uh, this zero over here because we are doing for s mm, do enter and okay and try to put here nine nine enter okay do enter and now as you can see over here like we already what is that mo 5s now in the same way do for a 4d also so for that fmp dos enter and in the same way repeat the process p dos over here and do enter and the mo dash this one is for 4d like uh, dot that enter and we are doing for mo atom enter and in place of n uh, in front of d there is 4 so put over here 4 enter and for d uh, l equal to uh, s p d l equal to 2 you can see over here 4 d l equal to 2 so you can mm, write over 2 and do enter and 9 and do enter okay for m we, mo we almost finished and now molybdenum we almost finished now I repeat the same process for s atom also in s atom there is 3s 3p 3s 3p so again repeat the process fmp dos and one dot p dos enter and this one is for s sulfur atoms so s 3s dot that so 3s dot that and enter this one is for s atom that's why I enter s and in place of n in front of uh, s there is 3 that's why 3 put over here and for s l equal to zero and put over zero and do nine okay in the same way repeat the process one dot p dos over here and do enter and output this one is for 3p that's why s that's 3p dot that over here and mm, this one is for s atom and in front of p there is three put right down here three and l for p l equal to one that's why this one and put over here nine and enter and now for pdos we almost ready to make a graph for pdos also so open the terminal over here and xm grace and enter and let import the data import the data for pdos let's make it let's start for mo mo 5s do okay this one is for mo so that one this one is for mo 5 so right here mo dash 5 s 
so okay accept it and in the same way mod okay for d and m enter this this one is for mo which are better for d so try to this one and in the same way os 3s okay you can see over here for s green and somewhat this one is for s atom or 3s orbital that's why put over here 3s and in the same way 3p do okay and you can see over here this one is for s and 3p orbital okay do asset now we are uh, almost complete and now what you have to do is like uh, mm, let uh, try to you know do the this uh, here in pdos x axis is uh, like uh, energy part that's why so i want to make the x axis as a uh, energy or energy ev like in that way and our energy is uh, starting from minus 16 to up to 4 as you can see over here in paper i already show you that in paper and the difference is around 4 so make it 4 and before doing this uh, let's shift the form energy to zero so for that what you have to do is go to the data transforming evaluation and what you have to do is select all and x equal to x plus what is the value of that form energy how many is the value and you can see over here 3.39 control c and you can paste over here okay and do accept and our you know energy is shifted to zero for me energy is shifted to zero and now what we have to do is like system is starting from minus 16 to 4 and in the difference of 4 and try to write here energy gy energy ev and we already subtract the form energy uh, to zero that's why no need to write here e minus ef so direct write down energy one magnetic bond and do accept okay you can see again what you have to do is like like let nick like zero axis in that way so that it will separate in the our balance band region and conduction band region yes yeah um, uh, this uh, minus 8 minus n to uh, this one is the balance band region and uh, 0 up to 4 this one is the conduction band region there is a gap between conduction and balance band region this one is the beautiful figure of you know graph of uh, of life graph of uh, uh, project density of in, in from this what we can see like uh, in uh, conduction band re region mo4d orbital is mainly contributing uh, to our uh, uh, conduction band region as you can see uh, this uh, red uh, line is lagging uh, is uh, actually in the upper part and in blue this there is blue and in, in that way so that's why mo4d orbital is contributing to our conduction band region mainly contributing to our conduction band region and in the same way uh, in uh, like balance band region S3P is contributing towards balance band region. In this way, you can write in your thesis or you know, not for it. Now we are almost complete and try to save it. Save in a file name as pdos dot that and okay. Do okay and I want to print this also so that I already made a video on this too. How to make a graph on this now. We almost complete our, you know, these things, structural and electronic properties of uh, two-dimensional monolayers, MOS2 monolayers. So uh, this must uh, in this videos. Uh, I think you like this videos. Uh, it last uh, what I need is obviously uh, your support. That is, uh, I need uh, your comment in my comment box. 
and please don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you i want to in my next video what i do was like how to uh, write in thesis in uh, through latex uh, i also uh, include a videos of other design material like pen trap how to design pen trap materials how to design one dimensional materials and how to do all these calculations um, these basic calculations to do thesis or project work uh, in later also i will include uh, like how to uh, write a paper research type of paper and how to submit uh, those things in international journal or national journal i will make uh, the video on that too so uh, please like do, uh, do like share and subscribe my youtube channel so thank you support researchers